I'm professional makeup artist Lana Reese. Subscribe to my channel to get videos on beauty tips, transformations, and more. Get ready, you're about to watch another video here on Viva Glam Lana. I have had a day today. First things first, I wanna say that the only reason why I have the subscribers that I have now is because half of them are from my Mexilana channel, which, you know, was the old G channel and I had more like outspoken videos on that channel. And now here on Viva Glam Lana, there's a mixture of everything and I do try to censor myself a little bit in my videos, but every now and then I have my Mexilana moments and then my old fans or subscribers, they get really excited because they're like, ah, it's you again. So um, yes, here I am having a Mexilana moment. I also want to say that I am no longer affiliated with a multi-channel network, which makes me feel a little bit easier on my videos because now I, I, re I feel like I can do whatever the hell I want to do and not like I've been censored or, you know, told not to do certain things at all by any means. It's just, you know, I like to be able to know that I, whatever content that I put out, it's all my own and everything is me. I'm not affiliated with any companies or organizations or other people. It's just me and my videos talking about my life. That being said, let me tell you about the day that I had. Yesterday I went to Los Angeles to visit some of my friends who I call my sisters and we've been friends since the second grade. So it's like really, really long time. I'm 31 now. So we've been friends for a very long time and I like to go back and regroup and recharge and get down to my roots again and then get back into the world just so I have like another nice charge. Um, I said charge like twice, didn't I? I did. And whenever I go uh, from Los, An uh, Las Vegas to Los Angeles, I always, always, always fly Virgin America because I love Virgin America. They are the best flight crew and company I've ever flown with, and the planes are wonderful. You know, everything is just like ah, it's so cute, it's so cute. But I, I feel like I connect more with that airlines. And every time I buy a ticket, I go into the. I always purchase the the LAX lounge ticket. You know, because I want to be separated and I want to be in my own zone. And I always have a great time in the lounges. There's complimentary drinks, there's complimentary snacks. You know, you got free Wi-Fi, of course. And it's just an overall nice feeling to be secluded and in your own bubble. And generally, everyone in this lounge is extremely happy. Unless it's the holiday season. So incident number one, I am in the Virgin America LAX lounge standing right in front of the coffee machine. Now, there is nobody behind me at this point. I'm looking at this coffee machine. This is one of those standalone machines that makes your own cup of coffee right there. You push a button, and normally these machines have about four or five options, like coffee, decaf, mocha, espresso, cappuccino, and that's it. And it's like one of those machines, okay? This machine, though, had much more options to choose from, which I was like, oh, cool. Let me just scroll through it. It's a touch screen, so I'm like, let me go into the hot drinks and then this kind of drink. And I had to kind of scan the system to see what they offer so I can pick my drink and be happy. As I'm pushing buttons, I can feel someone walking up behind me. And you always know when there's someone there. So I look over just to double check. And sure enough, there's a girl standing right behind me. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just let her go ahead because I'm gonna take forever. So I, I turn I turn around slightly like this. I have my cup in my hand. I turn around, because everyone, you have to get your own cup to come to this machine. Turn around and I'm like, you know, you could just go ahead of me. I'm gonna, I don't know what I want yet. And she goes with a cup in her hand. Yeah, I just want a coffee. And I was like, is this holiday hoe really going to sass me on my courteous gesture? Oh. Hell no. There are two kinds of people in this world. There is the kind of person who pisses me off that still makes me go, you know what? They're probably having a bad day. Let me tone it down and just say, squash it, I'm good. But then there's another kind of person that when they piss me off, oh man, when they come at me, I'm like coming back with a thousand hornets and I have a knife in my hand. I'm like, ka -ka! and I just rip their heart out and I'm just crazy and it just makes me blow up. Guess who she was today? She triggered that moment in my brain and I was like, oh no, don't do it, Kaka! And I was like, bitch! So let's rewind and reenact, shall we? You can go ahead, I don't really know what I want. Yeah, I just want a coffee. 
A simple thank you would have sufficed. Excuse me? A simple thank you would have sufficed because I don't reward people with a sense of entitlement. Ha <laughs> ha, boo bitch! Whoop, went my cup right into the machine and I continued choosing the drinks that I wanted to choose. Oh, hot drinks? How about hot cocoa? No, what's in this page? And I just kept going, chose my drink, I ended up getting a vanilla mocha, and I took my proud cup of joe and I walked my little happy ass to my station and set. It was kind of a beautiful moment because then that girl went back to her table where her boyfriend or whoever the fuck he was was sitting there. Did you see that? She was so mean. Oh my god. And I'm like, this bitch. Okay. So I'm sitting there drinking my coffee and I had to admit that I was actually really irritated about that. But it was early, I had ordered a breakfast sandwich that hasn't arrived yet. And I'm like, you know what, Lana, you're not you when you're hungry. So just eat and you'll be totally fine. My sandwich finally arrives and the waitress goes, do you need anything else? And I said, yeah, do you have any ketchup? And she's like, no, we don't, I'm sorry. And I'm like, you don't have any ketchup for my, for my breakfast sandwich? And she's like, no, sorry, we don't. And I. And it was at that moment when I was going to crack, but then I realized at that moment that if I had bitched about the ketchup, I'd be the bitch about the coffee. And then I was like, okay, no, leave it alone. It's okay, it's just freaking ketchup. You'll be all right, your sandwich will still taste good. And it did. So I finished eating and now it's time for me to just entertain myself because I have about an hour wait left for my plane. So then this family of four comes in and it's like a mom, a dad, I think, and like the mom's sister or maybe the mother. I didn't really get a good look. And then like a three-ish year old child, a little girl who is already kind of rowdy. So if you're not a mother or don't have children in your household or don't take care of children, you, you know, when you go to a place that you want zen, seeing a rowdy little kid is automatically a <clears throat> like you just know you don't want any part of it in your vicinity. So I immediately reach in for the headphones and I put them on and I'm thinking, don't worry, it's gonna be fine. They're gonna probably sit somewhere else. It's gonna be totally cool. Nope, they sit right behind me. So fine, fuck. So, but because I come prepared everywhere I go, I have my headphones, I'm totally fine. I'm not gonna let that ruin my day because it usually doesn't. They order food, the little girl is just doing little girl, three-year-old type things and just being a little girl and I'm like, oh, okay. And then there was that break of silence where I think it was, a, I was just listening to music or something and, and like the sound just went dead in my speakers. Just enough where I could hear everything around me. And again, you always feel when someone gets close to your body, right? So I felt the guy from behind lean in closer to this little girl and say in a very low and slow voice, I fucking can't stand you. You make me sick. Just like that. And I went, <gasps> and it was just like, <clears throat> everything stopped. The whole lounge just went like, click, 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 click. It was just awkward, dead silence. And then the mom said something, but I couldn't understand what she was saying because she was sitting about like two seats back. And then he comes back with, I don't fucking care. She has no respect to her surroundings, which I'm like, <laughs> I wonder where she gets it from. I cannot tell you how awkward it was in that lounge. At that point, nobody was having fun. Nobody wanted to be there. It was that bad. And of course the dad's like, you know what? Let's go, let's get out, we're leaving. And they left. And looking back, I'm thinking, oh, should I have said something? And then it's that point, like, what can you do at this point anyway? Like, this looks like the kind of guy who would always talk to her that way. And he probably always has talked to her that way. And it's like, there's only so much a random stranger could say. And if I had said something, he probably would have been like, you know what? Fuck you. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that's the kind of guy he was. So it was just a scary moment. <laughs> So at this point, I just want to go home. I just want to get on my plane. And I head down to the gate where it was completely flooded full of people. If you've ever flown before in your life, you would know that on your boarding pass, there is a spot that says group or boarding number. Either group A, B, C, or D, or boarding number one, two, three, and four. That means you sit and wait until they call that letter or number. You do not crowd the entrance hoping to get on sooner. Like maybe they'll skip number two and go to number three instead. The entire fucking plane was waiting right at the entryway and the flight crew person who was calling people up was like, you cannot crowd this area. This area must be clear. You must only be in groups one and two. And I'm like, this bitch is fucking yelling at you people. Back 
the fuck up? So I'm on the plane and thank God it is a short flight because Virgin America offers free beer or free wine and I allowed that into my life. I finally get home. I'm so excited to be home. And then I had to go grocery shopping. So I'm in the grocery store parking lot and I happen to get a really good parking spot. This guy parks next to me in the handicap spot no tags of any sort on the license plate or anywhere indicating that this is a special assistance needed type person. And I totally said that wrong, but I'm gonna keep going. Just a bigger heavy set dude and he left the car and walked his way to the front of the door. And I was right behind him because we both parked at generally the same time. And I went, oh, it doesn't look like you're handicapped. But of course, you know, I'm thinking, you know, what I can't see doesn't mean it's not there, you know? Fine. So we go into the grocery store and before we go our separate ways, I happen to catch from my periphs that he actually chose one of those roly-poly carts where you have to sit there and drive it and it's a full-on cart attached to it. And I went, bitch, I just saw you walk from your car. You are way too young to be Santa. There was no need to be riding around this grocery store like that. Of course, I didn't say anything, although in my head, I was like, I see too, que dramatico, but I went on my merry way. So I'm braving the crowds, getting the foods. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna make this this week, and I'm gonna make this next week, and I cannot wait to go home and start cooking, because I'm doing so good at it. And then I hear, meet me. I instantly see red. Because I know this fool is not trying to honk at me. There is space to go around my cart in the aisle. So I turn around to look and he's looking at me and I said, hi. And he's like, can you help me get this box from right there? That box that was right there was the third shelf from the ground, which hit me at about chest level and I'm 5'5". Five five. I just saw a freaking bootleg Santa walk from his car into the grocery store. Sorry, I'm from the generation that doesn't baby you when you fall down. Poo, poo, poo. If you lose, you're still a winner. No, bitch. If you lose, you're a loser. And if you're a pity party, I'm not going to baby you. Get your ass up and get it yourself. I was so mad. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I saw you walk from your car to get to that thing. I know you can handle this. You're good. And I walked off. I could have been meaner. I could have been, I could have done it my Mexilana way, but he was that one person that made me regroup and whatever this is. I just I stopped and I went, "Okay. Must not be the bull. Must not be the bull." I yeah, and I pretty much laughed the entire trip of the grocery store because I was like, Did "That guy really just try to play me for a fool right now." Oh, poor me. No. No. So I'm at the grocery line. Oh, it gets better. I'm at the grocery line. Paying for my stuff. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Oh my goodness. I'm a girl. And then I hear, fuck you. No, fuck you. And I'm like, what now? I have to paint this picture for you because I want you to see what I saw in this moment. You have guy number one who was this older, mid-60s kind of white guy, glasses, you know, with a beard, but still tough looking, like he came from that generation that doesn't give a shit about this new wave generation that's going on right now. And he probably, at one point of his life, has said to somebody, you can't talk to me that way, I know my rights. You know, like one of those America's mans. So you have this guy versus guy number two, who was not 60, I think he was probably maybe late 40s, early 50s black guy who is just like, hey, I'm gonna go to the grocery store with my wife because we gotta buy stuff. And he's just, just a dude getting by. Like that's, that is the picture that I see just automatically looking at these guys. Just, just if I was to just completely generalize, stereotype, whatever you want to call it. If I'm just by the cover of the book, that is what I saw. So these guys are just going at it. It's like, F you, no F you, racial slur, racial slur, racial slur. And it's just like, oh my God, for fuck's sake, it's Christmas. The cops came and they had to break them up. And I was just like, can I go home now? I was really afraid because this is Las Vegas. You're allowed to have a concealed weapon on you so long as you have your permit and your license for that weapon. And I'm looking at these two characters, totally enraged, going, 60 year old white guy who probably has a gun, 
savvy younger black man, still a little bit older, he knows his stuff, probably has a gun. Oh my God, I hope no one pulls out a gun right now. And then I went, oh my God, I hope they don't aggravate someone who has a gun in the store because that aggravated assault issue is real and that triggers other people to go insane too. And these are crazy times and Sin City is so is such a target that I'm like, oh, I just wanna leave the store right now, please. Luckily, nothing happens. I'm sure they didn't even have guns on them. It was just me being stereotypical of these two characters and I just felt like I am not safe. And I had to do more grocery shopping because I forgot a couple of things. So I took my happy ass to Whole Foods because I was like, mm, hippies are less angry. If you two had a crazy day today, be sure to leave it in the comments. I would love to read them and, you know, share our stories together of our crazy Christmas Eve. I blame the full moon because <laughs> people do some weird ass shit when they know the full moon is out so they can go, oh, what's the full moon? But no, I blame the full moon this time. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, which is at Lana Reese. I'm on Snapchat, which is at Viva Glam Lana, and you can find me there. And I will see you guys soon. Have a safe, safe, and loving holiday season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever it is the hell you do, you celebrate it. And if you don't celebrate shit, then you just be you and have a great fucking day. How about that? So I will see you guys soon. Bye.